And I think that traditional leftism has wanted to level the field in terms of the economic hierarchy. And now one of the things that you see happening is the, the people who are in the orbit of woke ideology want to level the field in terms of the privilege hierarchy. And, and, and though, I mean, look, it is a fact that some people have certain unearned privileges and it is a fact that some people just get to use a vulgarity. They just get shafted. I mean, there's just no question about it. The, we have the answers to that. And the answers are equality of opportunity, for example, fixing our school system and, and giving. So here's my question to you. I don't know how it is uh, on, on your island, but have, have uh, it's an, in, an in-joke, the island reference. But, <laughs> yeah, but I love as, what you call Australia on our yeah. island. You could call it a continent, which sounds more impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is actually very, that is far more impressive. Um, th- so with all this talk about equity, ha- has there been a single instance of a school or a school system that's been fixed because of the talk of equity? I don't think so. And if you know of one, let me know. I haven't heard of one. So people are talking about equity and they're trying to jerry-rig the outcome. Meanwhile, uh, poor people, and, and again, I say poor people, and you can look at the, the overlap like Venn diagrams who happen to be, for example, African-American are still suffering and struggling in those school systems. And what have we done to help them? We've tried to jerry-rig the outcomes. What we should be doing is giving every again, I'm speaking only for for Americans, but I think this extends to the English speaking world and beyond. I do think this is a universal principle. We need to give all kids a public education of the first rate and not worry about jury rigging the outcomes. Wouldn't the the defender of equity say, well, you can say it hasn't succeeded, but this is a long struggle and there is no finish line. And we've only been trying this for the past three seconds in, in evolutionary time and for most of history. Uh, you know, black students, students of color have been, ha- haven't had the same opportunities as white students. So it's time to redress that. You guess, so, so how? My, my, I think we already have an answer to that. And it's to, to adequately fund schools in poor districts. This is not a mystery. This is not a secret. We know, and it's not just funding. It's a complex. Lyle Asher from, from Lewis and Clark has written extensively about this and other people. I mean, we know pretty much what works at this point. For example, we know phonics as opposed to whole language. I mean, we know discrete things that work and we need to start moving. Not only, it's not just a question of funding. I don't want to leave, leave you with that impression, but it's a question of what are the best evidence-based practices? 